Today, people are still talking about the meteor sighting here in Metro Atlanta and beyond. This including a Georgia man who captured it on his dash cam while driving. Oh, he'll be sharing that video for years, right? Maggie Fitzgerald talked with the driver and an astronomy professor for a closer look at what happened. I live out in the country, so at night I see shooting stars. So at night, it really doesn't shock me or anything. It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's a meteor, and for Josh Grant, it's something he wouldn't typically blink twice about. But seeing a fiery streak during the daytime, it caught him and hundreds of others a bit off guard. Didn't know what it was. Based on the world today, you never know. So that's why I, I thought it was interesting, but maybe be a once a lifetime video if it was a meteor out during the day. But a sighting like that isn't as rare as it may seem, according to Professor Matthew Marone. He teaches all things astronomy and physics at Mercer University. Not unusual for these kind of things to happen. I'm, I wouldn't be panicked about it. I would be excited to go out there and actually see if I can find a piece of it but I wouldn't be panicking about it. According to emergency management crews, a piece of that meteor about an inch long was found in Henry County on Thursday. Marone has his own meteorite collection and explains when meteors come in very fast, the frictional heating can make them incredibly bright. Any black is the fusion crust where the outer part of the rock had been melted. And again, we saw this thing being very, very bright, right? So it's very hot and incandescent. Pieces like this are often debris left behind from a comet. In this instance, Marone says, the Pons Winnicka Comet, which creates an annual meteor shower during orbit this time of year. All right, and take a look at this. We are just getting in some new images of pieces of the meteorite that slammed into a Henry County home yesterday. You can see this quarter sized object and made it all the way into the home's foundation. That's really incredible. I mean, they go so quickly, but as, as she was explaining in the package, there's so much friction. They go from outer space to our atmosphere and they get so hot trying to slow down, but still, I mean, that's going faster than a bullet straight mm -hmm. through the roof into the foundation. It is a yeah. miracle that they were not actually there mm -hmm. in that exact yeah. location at that time. It really yeah. is a best case scenario in, in every way because nobody was hurt. Yeah. The damage was minimal, but also fascinating that so many people mm -hmm. got to see it and this conversation that really just keeps growing and growing and growing. Yeah, and those little rocks that he has. Very val valuable. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Do not eBay, give here away. we come. Yes, and there's going to be people who will try to say, oh, I have the rocks, I have the meteorites. No, th those are, keep those very under wraps. Rare. They are they are very rare because they came from bolide, a bolide, much more rare than a normal fireball. I'm geeking out, sorry. Uh, no, I love it. <laughs> I love all about it. We have a closer look at the video of the meteor shower sightings from here in Metro Atlanta on 11alive.com. If you haven't yet, be sure and check it out.